Okay, we are on the heels of spring, and we've got your back this morning if you're already thinking about sprucing up your home, and I don't blame you for feeling that way, because I am too. This morning, we're joined by Patrick Roy from the Lowe's in Wallingford with eight maintenance musts for the month of March. Say that one five times fast. Yeah, right. Patrick, my friend, <laughs> great, great to, to see, see you, you okay? And these are important things that people need to start thinking about doing now, not a in like April or May. You know, as, as you're reading the weather, I'm seeing that, you know, we're touching, getting close to 70 degree weather yep. uh, very, very shortly. Um, um, this is stuff that we got to get now. Um, if you're going to start your own uh, seedlings, uh, you want to plant those now. So I brought a couple things that we could do uh, right away, um, as well as getting your lawn ready. Um, but the first thing we have is we have some germination pods. So if you want to start your own plants, your own vegetable garden, mm -hmm. and you want to start it from seed, we have some great organic seeds. And literally, this is a, a very, very do-it-yourself project. All you're going to do is take your seeds, pop one on each germination pod. Okay, those are squash seeds. Okay. Yep. So you we're going to have some great yellow squash later. Now these, now these things over here, this is sort of like the, uh, what you would put in before, you know how you, how you buy, you know, fruits and vegetables or, or the little tomato plants or something. Yep. This is before you even do that. Exactly. This is, you know, instead of buying a two this or $3 two, plant, it? you could just buy a bag of seeds uh, and, and then fill this all up. What do these little germination pods cost? They're actually very, very cheap, but they're just, a, they're going to, they're going to blow up uh, with water. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, and this is all the nutrients you need to get this going. Now these will take a, a couple weeks. Um, you're probably not going to be looking to plant these until about April, but now is the, ch is the really the time to start. So what is a person's supposed to do with these though you know do they do you put it near a window or exactly something like that? and then uh, it comes with its own just keep it wet you're gonna keep oh, it nice. watered and then it has its own little greenhouse if you wanted to do more than that we do sell a, a small standing uh, greenhouse and that's actually gonna be good all the way till uh, till really freezing so I know we have a couple more nights where it's gonna get into the 20s but then after that we can just uh, leave it right outside okay and if it and if you do need to leave it inside this is something you'd want to keep facing towards the sunshine exactly get that light on it, get it going. Let's talk uh, about planting stuff. Too. What we can also do is uh, this is bulb season, so uh, we could plant some bulbs like your daffodils, your lilies, uh, and simply uh, just a, a little uh, uh, a little bulb planter. You're going to dig through. I think the biggest thing with that is when you put your bulb in, uh, leave it just a little bit above the ground. Uh, it'll start growing from the bottom. Pull mm -hmm. it down a little bit. You'll all of a sudden you'll say, "Wow, what happened to them?" But they'll they'll grow back up. You'll have these sprouts. Matter of fact, these are some uh, bulbs that we had started. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is actually what it's going to look like. So that's going to be your the start of your and growth. And you can plant this when? Well, with these, um, I, I Does would... Does it need would, to be above freezing it even at night? Not with these that? bulbs. You can, wow, you can okay. go through because remember, they're just starting that process. And I'm expecting to see some bulbs popping up in my lawn from last year within the next week or two. Now, if you get to that point where those things do start to pop up, have we already sort of missed, you know, step one when we're talking about the lawn? Or are we not there yet? Well, we are at step one in the lawn because, you know, there's no snow on the ground and the ground is still a little soft. Okay, so, so let's we can talk start. about that because I think a lot of the time people naturally think, okay, uh, you know, it's still really cold outside. They start thinking about the lawn in like April or May, and, and you're telling me that's too late. Absolutely. Once, you know, one of the, a good rule of thumb is if you know a forsythia bush, which has those yellow, they, they start off really yellow. Once those bloom, it's too late for the first, uh, for your first step. So you want to get your, your first step down before. It's a pre-emergent. So you want to get it down before the crabgrass starts and all the other things. Uh, we have some different seeds because now is a good chance to, uh, to put down the seed, whether it's high traffic or a, a, a heavy dense shade area, we have a seed that's going to match. And these are the types of things that need to be done right now. And right now. You don't want to wait yep. until July because it's not going to grow if by the time. If you want to spread it. down lime to neutralize your soil, now is a great time to do it and to, to start to get that. And the, the one thing I, 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 would, I would share with you, mm -hmm. um, do not put down fertilizer and seed at the same time. Uh, because uh, people do that every year and their, their seed doesn't kill grow, the it, 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 kills the, it kills the grass seed. Um, so lime is good, starter fertilizer with the seed is great. Um, you can put down uh, like a weed preventer when you plant in your gardens. Mm -hmm. Also a good time to freshen up your home with some insect control. Good time to spray around the house. There you go. Um, and we actually, if, uh, if you're going to be doing some of these bulbs, I know I, I love the, the hosta uh, in the bulbs, but the deer love them too. So you may want to put some uh, deer some repellent, deer repellent. Gotcha. Uh, uh, pellets down. Uh, we have different spreaders that you can use, um, but when you're planting, whenever you're planting anything, make sure you dig deep enough uh, because you have to have a, a spot for these roots. And we just got this this year. Uh, if you have a smaller lawn, a great little battery operated spreader. Oh wow, that's really cool. <laughs> that's interesting. Good stuff. Patrick, we have completely run out of time. Thank you so much. You Always are a located pleasure. at the Lowe's that's in Wallingford. In Wallingford.
This guy knows his stuff, okay? <laughs> Go and check this out. For we'll more info it. on this, because there was a lot of information, head over to our website. That's WTNH.com.